How's it going? I wasn't planning on uh, doing a video so soon, but uh, Magic's just released Vegas Pro 16 build 261. I guess the the first build they came out with had some bugs in it, so they wanted to fix those right away. But then in the new build, build 261, they've actually added this cool new tracking text to the motion tracker feature. And so I wanted to do a video showing how that works. So what I've got on the timeline right now is just a clip of some people walking down a, uh, a pathway here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna track the lady walking in the middle, and then we're gonna attach some text that follows along with her. So you've got your clip here on the timeline. Uh, what you do is you click here and get to the first position. You always want to usually be in the first position. And then you go into effects here. And I have been playing around with this already, so let me just start uh, from scratch. So here we go. We go into effects and we go to the Bezier masking. We can just double click this and it pops up there and we go OK. You know, there's a lot of videos floating around, but what you're going to need to do on this is just put the blend to uh, you can put the blend like right about there for right now, but eventually we're going to turn it off and we don't need to worry about invert or mask uh, that. So what we're going to do is we're going to, um, we're going to track her. We're going to use the mask to track this person. And then we're going to take that tracking data and attach text to it. So for tracking a person like this, I think the best one to go with is an oval like that. And then we're going to just go ahead and rotate it like this. And then we're going to uh, use these to kind of get zoom on in on her it's possible I've played around with this before that this woman on the side might come into the shot a little bit so I try to get it right onto the person and then we'll go like that and leave a little some boundaries there so there's some contrast there there I think that's good enough okay and then uh, what we're gonna do is we if we come down into tracking we're gonna open options and we're gonna go to high and we're gonna track on everything. So I don't see why you wouldn't wanna do that. And if um, the object is moving, you might wanna have uh, fewer frames. So I think maybe let's just do two here. So we'll just move on to two. Okay, I like to open this just so we kind of see where we're at. Now this is gonna become important later. So let me show you something. So if we come all the way over here, we, uh, to the x far x we see this is is zero and then if we come this way we see it goes all the way to one almost one so from so x over here is um zero 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 let's say and then all the way over here is almost the number one or all the way uh, it is the number one right but i'm off the i'm actually off the screen there and then if we go up and down here on the y axis, up here on y is, is one, and down here on the bottom is zero. So y goes from zero to one, and x goes from zero to one. For right here in the middle, it looks like that would be about, like if we get right in the center here, it looks like that would be 0 0.5, 0 0.5. So 0.5, 0.5, is the center of the screen. Now, why this is important is we need to, we might need to adjust what's called an offset. So we're tracking her right here, but if we come up here is probably where we want our text. So if you'll notice that we move it up here, if we're, we're going up here, we're at um, 0 0.50, and here about maybe where we want the text is 0.64. So that's a difference of 0.65 minus 0 0.50, which would be an offset of 0.15 so we'll need to remember that number later so just get that out of the way right now is that you're going to need an offset number because the motion tracking data is not the same as where the text is going to be positioned there's going to need to be an offset and that's going to come up a little bit later you're going to see so anyway so we got our mask set we can just hit start this part's kind of cool actually so we hit start you can see down here that it's just blazing away recording all those keyframes and it just it doesn't take very long this isn't a very long clip by the way i think it's only like uh seven or eight seconds so you do see the motion tracking but you don't see anything moving on the screen so that's kind of different I, different tracking programs you actually see it tracking on the screen but for whatever reason they, it doesn't do that 
we can see here she's way down there. If we move this uh, thing back, we can kind of see how well our track went. And I think it, I think that's good. It seems to stay on her. That's basically all we wanted to do is stay pretty much on her. If you don't like the tracking results, you can try to go back and tighten up a mask. But these are basically the highest uh, settings here. You could try a different shape or try masking just on her head or um, whatever. But you can adjust these to keep playing around with it to get a track if you don't like this particular track. Okay, so now we, we have our tracking data. So we don't actually need a mask. We just need the tracking data. So we're going to put blend all the way to one because we don't want a mask. We just want the tracking data from the mask. Okay. If we come up to tools and we come to scripting, there's one here, and this is only in the latest build, uh, build 261 of Vegas Pro 16 called add text to motion track. If we click that, oh, well, first you got to select this clip and then let's go back up here to tools, scripting and add text to motion track. Now here it's asking for that offset. That um, so if we if I if I left this at zero and zero right now, when I go to place the text, the text is going to be right on her. But what we need is an offset amount, and we kind of got an idea that it might be about. I think I said it was the difference between 0.65 and 0.50. So I'm going to say the difference here is uh, is about that much right there. Doesn't have to be precise, but um, you could type it in if you want to get precise. I'm saying the offset is 0.15. And as far as the x-axis, she kind of stays at the center, so I don't think there's any offset there. And then we go OK. And then what the what the program's done is it's brought in this placeholder. All we have to do is uh, swap out our text and make some adjustments here. So obviously this text is way too big, so we can come up here to scaling and uh, scale it down. Like great, maybe there. I want to make sure I'm in the, uh, the first position though here, so let's go on. So this is our first frame. And then if we highlight this text, we can adjust it, uh, make all the usual adjustments to the text that we want. So, and then we can put something here like, um, I don't know, we could put nomads or something like that. Nomads. And let's say I don't like red. I, I, I could switch that to uh, a white right there. And of course you've got all the usual things. You can add uh, a shadow if you wanted everything that you could do normally on text you can go ahead and add those things right there let's say if you felt that was still too close to their heads you could go in here and adjust the scaling a little bit down a little bit more so that it's maybe just like that so it's not quite touching their heads if you didn't want to adjust the scaling i'll show you what you could do now if we hit play you can see that the text tracks along with them but as you can see it's it's separating a little bit there's no way that uh, I know yet to uh, animate that offset function. But this should be good enough. These people are actually going downhill, so it's kind of unusual that they're not actually on a level plane. But as long as they're on a level plane, you notice it tracks. It starts uh, it's fading because the, they're actually the trails going down right there. So let's say you wanted, you don't like this offset and that feel, you feel like that's a little too much. All you need to do is come in here. You can delete this and then uh, highlight your track again and then come back up in here into tools, go back into scripting. And this is kind of a weird way to have to do it and go back into text and then you can adjust, readjust the offset this way. I'm assuming that this will eventually become right now it's a script, but I'm pretty sure that this will eventually become a built in function. That's a lot more easy to use. But uh, for now, if you're wanting to, uh, the only bad thing about that is that now you got to go in and uh, and kind of redo your your stuff here. So if I wanted to change this uh, text uh, back to impact, let's see where are we? Impact and then uh, nomads and change that to uh, white and uh, I'll, and then I'll do the uh, I'll do the scaling here. I need to actually bring them back to the first position and see to me that's I brought the offset down too far right there so it was probably better where it was but again I could go in here and go to scaling if I if I wanted to try just to get away with what I got right there but that's really that's really down too low so again we would just come in here 
Delete that. <laughs> That's a little bit of a hassle, I realize. Uh, scripting, uh, add text to motion track. Oops, you got to select the clip, I forget. Um, the other thing I should mention, if you're, if this is, looks like something you're going to be doing a lot, if you click up here on the bar, you can um, double click. Usually you can add that script to your menu bar. So that's add text to motion track. You just click there, go add and close. And then it's right here. So you don't have to go through that mumbo jumbo every time. So we just click this. I was right. I don't want to say I was right in the first place, but I think the 0.15 was a lot better to begin with. So we'll just go, we will leave it there. And there it comes back in. You know, how are we going to do this, right? You can just change it to uh, nomads changes to white or you know whatever you want to do to the to the text here but definitely you're going to need to uh, scale it down so and then if we come back to the the first part uh, the very first frame it, it tracks really with them pretty well and that's it i'm really excited about what's happening with uh, vegas pro right now there's a lot of new features being added of course there are some bugs and i think bugs are to be expected but give it some time and I think you're really going to end up being amazed with what where Vegas is going and the type of program it's going to become. So thanks a lot and uh, have a great day and I'll, I'll see you next time.